So in the series of learning C++ programming language, we are discussing control structures in C++. Till now we have discussed if and if else statements. The third one is else if ladder. What is the else if ladder? Why we use this? In which scenario? In which condition we use else if ladder in your program? How to use this in your program? The tricky things what we can do with this else if ladder? Everything about this uh, control structure, about this statement, we will be discussing in this video with the help of a program as well as we'll explain first of all with I'll explain this with the help of a real life example, like the scenario. First of all, we'll see that thing and then practically with the help of program, I'll show you how to use LC Flatter in your program. Now, before proceeding, let me just first tell you something important. Many students ask me this question like, ma'am, how to prepare for gate exam? Like we are uh, preparing for gate 2023 exam. So specifically for paper one, because they are very well about their core subject. But what about paper one, the syllabus? and the books and uh, no, from where to practice previous year question paper this thing plays vital role in your gate, gate preparation the previous year question papers so i just found a good book was from oswal books for general aptitude so this is the book we have from oswal books let me just show you the content what you will get in this book first of all some information about the gate then question paper for verbal aptitude year wise question paper you will get and then answers with explanation then quantitative aptitude and analytical aptitude and then at last two sample paper also question paper and with their answer with their explanation you will get right so some information about gate if you don't know what is gate then you can see here year wise their eligibility criteria for every stream and if you are attempting first time gates and then some tips to crack the exam in first attempt right exam pattern also given how to uh, calculate the scope the syllabus you will get in this book first of all and then See the cutoff marks also you can see for uh, no, for uh, the year 20, 21 and 22 last three years cutoff for every paper you, you can see. Trend analysis this is also very important right. Now they have given some mind maps also. Mind map basically you know, uh, make your learning simple for every topic you will get mind map like for error spotting, divisibility rules, reading comprehension for every topic you they have given these mind maps so you can go through these mind maps then mnemonics they have given right and this is the mnemonics they have given basically you know simple tricks to memorize something complex for every topic and then you will get the question paper right for 2022 verbal aptitude first of all this is the answers and at first you have question paper stream wise questions right and then answers and then answer with explanation you will get the explanation is also very good year wise from so here you will get year wise from 10 to 21 verbal aptitude list of question you will get branch wise according to stream you will get here right the question computer science and after that the list of question and after that you will get answers answer key and then the explanation you will get answer with explanation right last you will get sample paper two sample papers i guess you can go for this book so the link from where you can buy I'll put in the description box of this video. You can go and check out. Now let's see what is else if ladder. Okay, now if you have multiple choices, see till now we have discussed if you have one choice, then we can use if statement. If you have two choices, like coffee in Starbucks and CCD, then you can use if else uh, statements. If you have multiple choices, then like if you are going to a supermarket, same your mother asks you to buy a vegetable like lady finger, you ask. If not available, then what to buy? Potato. If potato is not available, then what to buy? Maybe uh, your mother will say capsicum. If you say capsicum is not available, maybe your mother will say like brinjal. So you have multiple choices now, right? If any of this is available, you can buy that. If nothing is available, then just come to home. So same if you have multiple choices in your program you want to implement, you have multiple choices, then how to implement that scenario in your program with the help of programming using else if statement else if letter we say this right now see what is general syntax of writing else if letter see simply first of all obviously we write if then we write some condition like condition one you can say right then this if block or i'm just writing maybe like statement statement one right then else again if make sure there is space between else and if because else is keyword and if it if is another keyword they are different keywords right now we put condition two 
one more condition suppose condition 2 and here I am writing statement 2 right only one statement I am writing that's why I am not putting any curly braces else if condition one more condition suppose condition 3 and if it is true then statement 3 like this you can put else if else if else if till means uh, you, you, how many choices you have for the condition you have those number of else if you can put right and after that simply else and suppose a statement I am writing statement here x right after this after this if else else if letter we have a statement abc right so as soon as a condition is true the corresponding statement to that if would be executed and the remaining condition the remaining statement would be skipped then directly control will go to statement abc whatever statements you have written after this else if letter right suppose this condition is true control will enter here statement one would be executed and all the other conditions would be skipped directly control will go to now statement abc suppose this condition is false then control will go to this will check this condition if this condition is also false then control will go to this condition condition three suppose this condition is true then control will enter here here in this block statement three would be executed and whatever condition you have written after this till this else would be skipped and after that directly control will go to statement abc let me just show you this with the help of flowchart suppose this is first condition condition one so two cases can be there if this is true then corresponding we i have written statement one so this would be executed right and if this is not true then if this is false then next condition would be checked condition two if this condition is true then statement two would be executed and if this is false next condition condition 3 would be checked like this condition 3 would be checked right same two if this is condition 2 is true statement 3 would be executed like this and so on and if this is false then again suppose we have condition condition 4 5 those would be executed right at last suppose we have condition n right here we have suppose uh, at last we have condition till condition n how many condition you have it depends on you condition n if this condition is true then corresponding to this suppose we have a block statement n right like this and if this is false this is last condition then whatever you have written in this else statement x i have written that would be executed so now we have statement x statement x or you can say default statement whatever you have written in the last else that would be executed and finally after statement 1 also 2 also 3 also this n and statement x what would be executed i have written here statement abc this would be executed right like this and after that you can say exit from the program so this is something you can say like flow chart of else if ladder fine now let me just this, try this with the help of program let me just show you on my laptop so let's take the same example if you have money greater than thousand then simply i am writing only you will have coffee in starbucks right else if you have money greater than suppose 5000 then you will have coffee in ccd right else if you don't have money greater than uh, five, uh, 500 but you have greater than 100 then 
you can have like coffee in normal shop right if you don't have money greater than 100 else you can have tea i'm sure you have 20 rupees you both can have tea 20 or 30 rupees right okay that's the that's the case otherwise at last after that after that you will put let's go home that's it if suppose we enter a money suppose i'm entering money 500 or i'm entering me 300 first of all this condition is this condition true no skip this check next condition this condition true no check next next condition money greater than 100 is this condition true Yes, this is true. Now, control will enter here. What would be printed? Coffee in normal shop. And after that, directly no else would be executed. After that, directly out of this else if ladder, whatever statement you have written after this, let's go home. This is like statement ABC. So, let's go home would be printed, right? So, here you have multiple choices. You can have coffee in Starbucks, CCD in normal shop, you can have tea. So these, if you have multiple choices, multiple path decision you want to take, then we use else if ladder. Now, alternative of this else if ladder is what? You can do the same thing. If you have multiple choices and you want to select one, then you can implement that thing with else if ladder or you can implement this with switch statement. For more control structure, we have switch statement, right? Same program you can do with this. So that thing we'll discuss in the next video. Now, let me just show you this thing practically on my laptop. So this is the program we have, same we have written this header file using namespace st, then main, we are taking a variable money, then just entering how much you have using scene, we are entering the money, money. Now I have here four to, I think five choices, I have implemented five choices in this program. If money is greater than or equal to 1000, then it will print simply money I have and let's have coffee in Starbucks. Else, if money is greater than 700, you can have coffee in CCD, if money greater than 500, you can have coffee in any normal shop. If, mon if money is greater than 100, let's buy sachet and make coffee at home. You can buy sachet and you can make coffee at home. Else, let's have tea. If you don't have money, even 100 rupees you don't have. I think at least you have, you have 20 to 30 rupees, so let's have tea. Then let's go home, right? Let me just run this program and show you the output you will get, see, okay. <coughs> Let's run this again. See how much you have it is asking. So suppose I'm entering 1200 I have. So let's coffee, money I have 1200. Let's have coffee in Starbucks and directly let's go home. First condition is true. Only for, first condition is true. 1200 greater than 1000. So let's have coffee in Starbucks. The remaining condition, remaining statement would be skipped directly. Whatever you have written out of the sales if ladder, let's go home, that would be printed. That would be executed. Now let's run this again. Now I have money, suppose 400. So let's buy sachet and make coffee at home and let's go home. Now first condition is not true. Second condition 700, not true. Third condition 500, greater than 500, not true. Fourth condition is true, money greater than 100, yes. So control will enter into this. Let's buy sachet make coffee at home that would be printed then directly let's go home right if i run this again suppose i have money 30 rupees let's have tea and let's go home right same you can if like i put semicolon in after the if same it will give error else in the cells because the cells is will be previous it will give like uh, else without previous if right so else without previous if you can't put semicolon here right yeah you can put semicolon in this else that is fine it will not give any error but now you have terminated this else so this statement see how let's have e would also be a part of means uh, would be a would not be a part of this else if letter anymore would be considered as part of the program like see how let's go home let's have t these two statements would be you can say out of this else if ladder. So this is your assignment. I have put semicolon after this else. Now suppose I am entering money 700, 700. 
what output you will get you have to tell me in comment section so i hope you got the scenario of lc flutter why we use and how to use this thing so now in the next video we will see switch statement as well as nested if one is also left that is nested if that also is the next video so now in the next video till then bye bye take care